Welcome to uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV 2015 coffee mug tutorials. I'm Johannes Goodmanson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. In this easy to follow instructional video series, I'll show you how to use Microsoft Dynamics NAV by using a one simple item as an example, in this case, a coffee mug. I'll walk you through how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, track and manipulate inventory, and much, much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup, Joe, and let's get started, shall we? Hello there, and welcome to the uh, coffee mug tutorials. Um, what I want to show today is uh, how to work with min-max um, inventory levels uh, in NAV. Basically, we have um, requested that uh, minimum inventory levels will be set for the coffee mugs. And uh, so I have to configure that and show you how we can actually fetch that information into something called the requisition worksheet. So the first thing is to go into the items. And I'm going to find my coffee cup. So I'm just going to do this on the standard coffee cup. Or coffee mug, I'm sorry. Uh, and then I go into the card. And on the card itself, um, we have a planning tab right here. And that is, uh, <coughs> here are all the uh, values that I can set to basically have the system plan the item. What that means is uh, it's planning the the, uh, the the supply based on the demand. So this is truly what ERPs are designed for, is, is balancing out the supply and demand. And so this is kind of the first step in that direction that we're going to do in the uh, videos. So I'm going to change the reordering policy to be uh, fixed reorder quantity. Uh, from nothing. So that means now the system is going to consider this item in my planning. I'm going to say the reorder point is um, 2000. So if it goes below 2000 coffee mugs, then we are going to order um, 2500. So we're starting to sell a lot of these coffee mugs and we need to have uh, everything available um, and that's it I'm just gonna set this and it's it includes the inventory level so basically if I be go below 2000 then it orders 2500 now I can go up here and see that right now we're at 985 so if I run the requisition worksheet it should bring it up let me go there uh, so I close this out go here into requisition worksheet. Now this worksheet is my planning worksheet. There are many planning worksheets in NAV. This is one of them. This is probably the simplest one, so the easiest one to use. Uh, works well with min-maxes and other type of planning um, scenarios. So if I go in here, I can just hit calculate plan. And uh, I'm just going to look at the year. Let's say I'm going to put my parameters as wide as possible. So I'll just go from 15 to 17 just to show the functionality. But I could look at much smaller horizon if I wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to use any forecast. Just take that out. And I'm just going to look at the coffee mug. And then I hit OK. And it calculates. And it goes ahead and says, well, since I want to have 2,500, it suggests to buy uh, 2,500 in the blank location, which I've been working out of, also in the blue location and in the red location. So it wants me to put 2,500 everywhere. Um, 
there are ways around this. I could have different planning parameters based on location, and I can I will show that in a different video. Those are called stock keeping units. But basically, this is showing me that I can plan for all different locations. If I only wanted to plan for one location, I can just delete this and hit calculate plan again. And in this case, I'm only going to do for the blue location. Okay. And now it comes just one. That's perfect. Um, <clears throat> so it tells me, yeah, I dipped under the 2000, and so I'm supposed to buy 2500. Uh, where am I buying it from? I can specify that by looking up the vendor. Now, if I look up here, it's going to bring me a blank form. That's because I have not set any default vendors for the item. So let me go ahead and change that. I'm going to just close this. Go to the item itself right here. And just look, look at vendors. Um, and I usually get this from either the, what was it again? The custom metals or um, American Wood Exports. So those are the two vendors. And my lead time calculation for uh, custom metals is 14 days. And it's 30 days for the wood export. Now I just close this out. And I go back into the requisition worksheet. Right here. And now I will look up the vendor. I see this, those two vendors. And I'm going to get it from the uh, ceramic place, uh, the metal place, I'm sorry. And OK. And the unit cost actually for this one is going to be 12. That's it. Now all I have to do is say um, carry out action message. And I can actually print the purchase order as I'm doing this, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to generate the purchase order. Just hit OK. And it goes through the worksheet and creates the purchase order. So if I now go into my coffee mug item, I can see that I have 2500 on purchase order. I can click on that. And let's see, for the blue location, show the document. And here it is. And that was it for the requisition worksheet and min-max levels in an AV.